Hello, my name is Dr. Kathleen Van Cleef and I'm an Associate Professor at Durham University. In this video, I want to tell you a little bit more about associative agnosia and what exactly that is. So, imagine you're looking at this picture. What will happen in your brain is that it will receive the information coming from your eyes and it will start building a picture. It will start with very basic information as what colors are you looking at, what shapes, and then slowly it will group these elements into a coherent shape. So that happens in the occipital cortex. Other areas in the brain are responsible then for different aspects. So the information of the picture, the coherent picture, is passed on to areas that are related, uh, that make associations. So you might realize that this is actually something that you can sit on, that it's a mode of transport. Uh, you might associate it with doing exercise, or maybe you're into mechanics and you really get thinking about those aspects. Other areas of the brain link it to language and naming. So these areas of the brain will tell you this is a bike. In associative agnosia, these different brain areas no longer work together. It's like as if the connection is lost. So the person can still build the picture in their mind and have a coherent image, but that information is no longer connected with, a, with what they know about objects or the names of different objects. So they might see things, but they won't be able to recognize it. They won't be able to say what it is, and they won't be able to describe how you would use this. So that's associative agnosia. If you want to hear more about other visual perception conditions that can occur after brain injury, check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.